Uh, just down here at the Briffy House Refugee Resort. People are wondering, have our new arrivals landed here in Briffy yet? The new iPass Centre? We don't think so. Um, they're due any day now. The work has all been completed for the last week, there thereabouts. Um, so we're just wondering when people are going to arrive. We don't know anything about these people. I've already sent an email a couple of weeks ago to Briffy House, to um, the County Council, to uh, the department as well, Roderick O'Gorman's department, asking them what exactly is happening in Bravey House and the event centre uh, since it's been done up. Obviously, they've converted it to more permanent style accommodation. Um, and we think there's about 300 people that are going to move in, but we don't know who they are or when they're coming or when, wh where they're coming from. Uh, I know some people in and around Bravey House, some people who, who work quite closely with people in Bravey House, I've told us that they've been told that it's Ukrainian women and children coming. So I don't know if that's true or not. I doubt it because I was under the impression that this was an international protection centre, um, not a Ukrainian refugee centre, which we already have one of here uh, in Brafy, at the Brafy House, uh, the Brafy House, or the Brafy Woods Hotel, I should say, is the Ukrainian centre. So that begs the question, who exactly is coming in? Um, if it's not Ukrainian women and children, which I doubt it, why are they putting that out there? Um, I'm sure they're concerned that, you know, if it was single, me single men from different parts of the world, many of whom are coming from safe countries, many of, many of whom um, don't arrive here with documentation. So obviously there'd be a worry in the community that the new event centre is going to be filled with uh, these sorts of individuals. So we don't know the answer yet. We do know that the Gardaí were up here uh, today for about 20 minutes. Um, they were in at the Woods Hotel, the Ukrainian Refugee Centre. Don't know what that was about. Um, we know the guards were up here at least once last week as well. Um, but, this, I mean, that's a regular occurrence, the Gardaí calling up here. We don't know a lot of what goes on here. There's never been a public meeting for people living in Brafy here. The community council, the Brafy Community Council is very much a closed shop. Um, but they do know what's going on. The chairman definitely does know what's going on. If we're to believe the manager of Brafy, Brafy House, who Wilson Bird, who tells us that he has regular meetings with MJ Reddington and the Brafy Community Council. So some people know what's going on. If you're, if you're in the click, uh, most people don't know what's going on. So that's that. We'll wait and see who's going who's gonna to arrive here. Um, just to mention one other thing as well there, I just heard over the weekend that there has been, guards have called, um, have been calling to the Balnafad house, which is just out past Belkara, uh, just a couple of miles from Bravey here. They're, they're housing Ukrainian refugees. And I believe that the Gardaí have been called there on a couple of occasions over the last few weeks. I don't know what for. I also know that there has been a couple of house break-ins in Balnafad over the last couple of weeks. Can't say if this is related to why the, the reason the Gardaí are calling out to Balnafad House. Don't have any more information on that, but uh, if anybody does, I'd appreciate it if you could just get in touch and let us know what exactly is going on.